your body has several options for fuel. Its first choice is glycogen, otherwise known as blood sugar or glucose. Glucose is absolutely necessary to keep your brain and nervous system operating. When an inactive, underfed body runs out of blood sugar, it will call upon special enzymes to break down and convert lean, healthy tissue into glucose to fuel its basal metabolism. It literally feeds upon itself. Most dieters are led to believe the body will burn fat as an alternative source of energy. But this is dead wrong. The body has no way to convert stored fat into glucose. So as inactivity and underfeeding continues, the body will constantly convert lean, healthy tissue into glucose to feed the nervous system. In fact, if left unchecked, the body will continue to consume itself, including vital organs, blood, and even lung tissue. In the most extreme cases, the end result is death by starvation. This is exactly why all quick-fix weight loss programs are faulty in design. They lower your calorie intake below your BMR and create an extreme negative energy balance. By doing so, the weight you actually lose is healthy lean tissue and muscle mass. As you continue to diet, your body perceives itself to be in a state of starvation. So in addition to burning muscle, your entire body is actually slowing down and ridding itself of metabolism. That's why restricted calorie dieters are always hungry and tired. And to make things worse, as the body senses starvation, it begins to increase production of fat depositing enzymes to help it store more fat. All of this is the exact opposite of what's needed to change body composition. Again, understanding metabolism is key to long-term health and weight management. Metabolism is what defines your body today and what it will become tomorrow and the next day. All changes in your body fat and overall body composition are derived from your metabolism and its ability to simultaneously build muscle and burn fat. It really is that simple.